Hello everyone, welcome to Switch Up as we once again have a look at some of the games coming out for the Switch in this upcoming week. A big thank you to our new channel sponsor Pixel Heart, creators of low print run physical games for consoles including of course the Switch. And due to this partnership we are able to share with you a promotion code which is SWITCHUPSHING and that will get you 15% off of an order via their website which I'll put a link to in the top in comment. Now last week was a very stacked week in terms of releases for the Switch and some very good games were released too. Due to that there were quite a few games that I couldn't mention plus some that came out after the video was made. So we'll go through a few of those before moving on to the games coming out this week. So what's on the horizon for this week then? Well, let's find out. Starting then with some of the games that are already out but didn't make last week's video for whatever reason and the first of these is Pathway. Now this comes via Chucklefish who of course created Wargroove, a very good game that's on the Switch, although I think this time they are on publishing duty as opposed to being the developers. This is a turn-based strategy game set in 1936 where you will need to assemble a team of adventurers and journey through the desert wilderness, outwitting foes in strategic squad combat and locating ancient treasures. There are five different campaigns of varying difficulty to work through. It mentions that there will be choices along the way to make which will affect the story, squad combat that makes good use of both cover and positioning, 16 unlockable characters each with their own skill sets and quirks and treasures and loot for you to find in order to then upgrade your team's weapons. It's selling for what looks like a decent price of £12.99 and we are actually working on a review for this one. Depending on when that video goes out in relation to this one, if it's out already there's a link to it in the top pinned comment, if not then please do keep an eye out for it in the next couple of days. Also out now is a game called Picam Inosa, a pixel noir game. This describes itself as a police action RPG in which you embody a disgraced detective on the strangest case of his career. It says it blends the charm of pixel art and the mechanics of an ARPG with the atmosphere of film noir. You'll be interrogating suspects, exploring a city dominated by crime and never hesitating to use your fists or guns. It states its features as being a unique ambience created by the film noir setting and original jazz soundtrack, mini games to partake in such as blackjack and being able to customise your character's weapons and clothing, evolving through what they call the life system. Now I will say this game really did catch my eye when I looked at the screenshots and I do like what I just read in the blurb, it definitely sounds different and intriguing but the trailer didn't sell me at all, it was incredibly slow, didn't really get to the point of the game. Not to say it's a bad game by any stretch, it just didn't do itself any favours. If you are interested though, I'm sure there's a bit under the surface with this one, it sells for £13.49 or your regional equivalent. One that was touted for last week but wasn't on the eShop so I left it out just in case is Earth Defense Force World Brothers. It says here this is a new adventure in the EDF franchise, only this time the action unfolds in a parallel world where the Earth is made of digital blocks. Owing to this, the game has a, a voxel art style look to it. This world has befallen into chaos as the once peaceful square Earth has been shattered into pieces. It says each mission can be attempted with up to four teammates, switching among your teammates as you go and making use of each character's unique traits. The game is playable in single player but you can also play it with up to two to four players both online or in local mode and it mentions that block versions of characters from every previous EDF release going from EDF 1 up to EDF 5 and even some of the spin-off games will appear in this game. It's selling for £53.99 which is really a hefty price plus there's a deluxe version that's going for 70 odd quid. Now I don't think this game's getting a physical release in the West from what I've seen at least, although I do believe there is a Japanese version available. I don't know if it has English on the cartridge I'm afraid. If there is someone out there that does know, perhaps they can put it in the comments for us. And the last of the games that are already out then, this is Weaving Tides. This is one I don't know anything about, but it does look quite interesting. It's set in a world of dragons, and you'll be journeying out to explore ancient dungeons, solve puzzles, and unravel the mysteries of a long forgotten past. What looks quite interesting about it is it seems as if the world is made up of textile pieces and you almost need to use your dragon's tail as a way to stitch the world back together. I don't know how integral a part that plays in the gameplay as the trailer also seems to show you exploring towns and speaking to NPCs but it sounds like an interesting idea at least. There are three different rideable dragons to befriend and it also mentions a playground mode where you can use the unlockables you find in the story mode to freely stitch and create your own digital embroidery. If it's your sort of thing, it's out now as I said, and it sells for £22.49. Moving on to this week's games now then, and going from dates of the 29th of May up until the 4th of June, and the first game is Carnivore's Dinosaur Hunt. 
This is a first person hunting simulator where you hunt a variety of dinosaurs. It says here it's a remaster of Carnivore's Dinosaur Hunter, a game I've just seen released back on the PS3 and the PSP. And if what I've just read is correct, was itself an updated port of the first Carnivore's game. You need to track down and stalk dinosaurs, being aware of your surroundings in these beautiful but dangerous environments. Each has its own unique ecosystem and you'll be exploring beaches, dense jungles, rocky plains and deserts. It says there are a multitude of different dinosaurs to hunt from herbivores to carnivores, you can equip things such as camouflage and cover scent to outsmart the dinosaurs. There are a diverse range of weapons and an interactive dinosaur trophy room. It also mentions leaderboards, but it doesn't say whether that's local or online. It's selling for £13.49 and comes out on the 1st of June. Next then is Astalon Tears of the Earth. This looks like an action platformer with a pixel art style and it says you will be fighting, climbing and solving your way through a twisted tower as three unique adventurers. It says here, Astalon features the progressive exploration of an interconnected world with the swiftness and quick rhythm of a room by room action platformer. You'll be exploring and building your character's strengths or you can use risky methods to slice your way up the tower quickly. Switching between your heroes and utilising their abilities, with the three characters being a warrior, an archer and a wizard. Battle against a large assortment of enemies, upgrading your character's abilities as you go. It promises hours of challenging exploration, with a plethora of unlockables and secrets to reward the most inquisitive of players. If you are interested, this one comes out on the 2nd and costs £15.09 or your regional equivalent. Then you have Winds of Change which appears to be a 2D visual novel with some point and click elements and it's been out on Steam for a couple of years now where it's got pretty decent scores. You'll be leading a rebellion to bring peace back to a land tarnished by unjust and cruel rulers. It's fully voice acted and will see you needing to build relationships with certain characters and make difficult choices along the way. You are the last seer, the chosen one of the spirits and it is your calling to ensure that peace and good prevails in the world. On your journey, you will encounter a varied, vibrant cast of characters, fostering meaningful relationships and building alliances with each of them. It promises a mature and dark fantasy setting that deals with the fallout of a civil war, rebelling against tyranny and acts of malice. It's selling for £17.99 or your regional equivalent and comes out on the 3rd of June. Or love him, at least until now. May the triumvirate reign eternal. Then you have Skellboy Refractured. Now Skellboy came out a little while ago on the Switch. When I first saw this I assumed it was a sequel of some description, but owing to the fact that I can't find the original Skellboy on the eShop anymore, plus the fact it says you get this game for free if you own that original game, I'm assuming it's an update of some description. Anyway, this is an ARPG that can also be played locally in co-op and sees you able to swap out body parts in order to acquire new abilities. It does mention here a brand new randomised dungeon as well as a massive, as it says, new game plus mode. So it does sound as if it is an upgraded version of that original game. And Mark did play the original one for us. I think it went into a buy it or avoid video, but he did enjoy it from what I remember. This one's selling for £18, but does have 20% off of that price up until just before launch. And it comes out on the 4th of June. Also on the 4th then you have DC Superhero Girls Team Power which I'm pretty sure was announced at one of the directs at some point and is actually published by Nintendo but doesn't have a trailer on the eShop which is quite bad form to be honest considering it's out very soon. It says join the fight as Wonder Woman, Supergirl and Batgirl from the animated series DC Superhero Girls and save Metropolis from some of DC's most notorious supervillains. Each hero has a unique set of abilities, Wonder Woman uses her lasso of truth, Supergirl has heat vision and Batgirl has crime fighting gadgets to name but a few. But the other part of the game is having to balance being a teenager as well as being a superhero. Now my daughter's watched a couple of episodes of this show and she seemed to quite like it. I didn't think much of the game when I saw it in that direct I must say but then of course I'm not the target audience. It's selling for £49.99, does have a physical release coming as well I'm pretty sure and it comes out as I said on the 4th. Definitely want to hit up Sweet Justice later. 
Uh-oh, something really bad is threatening the city. No one could have seen it coming, but when justice calls, you can count on us to answer no matter what. We've just got to make sure no one... And the final game for this week then, you have The Last Kids on Earth and The Staff of Doom. This is published by Outright Games, who have a bit of a monopoly on the Switch when it comes to licensed games based on children's TV shows. And lo and behold, this one is also based on an animated series, which took its inspiration from a book, I believe. It says here, join Jack and friends in an epic post-apocalyptic quest to save our world from the Queen of the Sly Monsters. You can choose your hero, playing as Jack, Quint, June or Dirk, and you can play the game in couch co-op with up to four players. Start out as a scrappy survivor, but find the right blueprints and resources and you're ready to craft. Upgrade your equipment, abilities, the treehouse and your getaway car, Big Mama, to legendary levels of power. It says you can summon a variety of monsters to help you on your way, and I'm assuming these are all from the source material. It mentions Rover, Biggin, Skalker, I think, and Bardle. And you can even upgrade your allies' attacks in areas such as damage radius, speed, and a few more. This one sells for £34.99 or your regional equivalent and may well be one for fans of the show to keep an eye out for, either way it comes out on the 4th. So there you have it, another week of Nintendo Switch releases. Not as good as last week, it has to be said. I mean, half of those games were the overspill from last week anyway, but there may be something in there to interest you. If there is, please do let us know in the comment section below. Just a reminder about that promo code from our channel sponsor Pixel Heart. Link to their website is in the description. It will get you 15% off of your order. A quick thank you to our Patreons as always for your continued support and to each and every one of you for watching our videos. Take care, stay safe of course, and until next time, happy gaming.